a bunch of clueless actors called the Rude Mechanicals who are getting ready to perform a play for the Duke of Athens. They meet at the home of Peter Quince, and I really don't know what's going to happen, so we'll find out. Um, oh, maybe, maybe I saw maybe 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 no, I don't, I don't think I'm so Is everybody here? Better to roll call. Where is your costume? Miss Yelton didn't want me getting any of your sort. I was working on a transmission, but lost track of time. Anyway, uh, I forgot the scroll, so I'm just going to remember your name. And I'll call you guys. What's this play about, anyway? It's the most lamentable comedy and the most cruel death of Pierre Pugh Bisbee. All right, let's put up on the rack and see what we got. Answer as I call you. Nick Bottom, Weaver. <laughs> You're going to be Pyramus. Right. What's Pyramus? Pyramus is the lover that kills himself most gallantly for love. Of course he is. Pyramus and Disby are in love with but their parents don't like each other. So one day, they decide to run off and meet in the forest. This begins their first and runs into a lion, which gets the fool out of her. She runs off and drops her scarf. The lion picks up the scarf and tries to eat it, but can't quite choke it out. He does, however, get blood all over it, since he's just eaten another man. Then Pyramus shows up, finds the bloody scarf, Makes this be eaten and kills himself. Then this be shows up, finds Pyramus, and kills her herself. Um, <laughs> Ugh! I that sounds like talent. It sounds like Romeo Sounds like Romeo and Juliet. It just happens to be the next play that Shakespeare wrote. Hopefully, it won't be part of the Armadillo Plus Community Theater anytime soon. I like it. You're supposed to recite that poem about the raging rocks or whatever, so you're a great actor. Right. Here's some really great actors. The raging rocks and the shimmering shocks shall break the locks and clean the clocks and wash the socks and change the socks. I can't remember. Whether you remember that, I'll call the rest of you. I'm here and I'm ready to bring some color on. You're going to be Fisbee, the lady that Pyramus loves. Robin Starling? That's me, ready to spin some discs. You're gonna be here, Mrs. You're gonna be Cleesby's mother. Well, that's gonna be cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Peace, baby. You're gonna be here, Mrs. Father. That's weird. Shouldn't I be here, Mrs. Father, and she be Cleesby's mother? Hey, I didn't write this thing. Uh, <laughs> snub the joiner? I love her. You're gonna be the lock. I don't memorize stuff so good. You just roll. How about I be the one? She can be Pyramus. I don't want to be Pyramus. I don't want to be stuck with the joiner. I don't want to be lying. I don't want to be stupid thing. Why are you here? Community service. At least that's my parole officer told me. Parole officer? Hey, I keep telling the cops I wasn't anywhere near that convenience store. How about she can be the lion and I can be How about if I can be the lion and she can be Pyramus? No. Why don't I do Pyramus and Thisby, and I can also do Pyramus's father, Thisby's mother, and the lion. <laughs> so you love yourself, you hate yourself, you kill yourself, <laughs> you try to eat yourself, and you feel bad about the way you treated yourself? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I love yourself. I'm Pyramus, I'm Thisby, Flute is Thisby's mother, Bob is Pyramus's father, and Starling is the lion. How about if Starling's Pyramus? I am Thisby. Snouts um Pyramus's father. Um Snout is Pyramus's mother and Bottom's wife. How about I am Pyramus? Snout is Thisby. Flute is Thisby's mother. Snug is Bottom. Snug is Pyramus's father and Bottom is the lion. No. Here's an idea. How about if Bottom is Pyramus, Flute is Thisby, Starling is Thisby's mother, Snout is a Pyramus's father, and I'm the lion. That's the way I found the rules in the first place. It is. Anyway, here are your scripts. I forgot the script. Oh. As I was saying, here are your scripts. Go study them and meet in a few days in the woods. Any questions? Yeah. Oh, good. I think it's time for a coffee break.